Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be tying a little bit of a spin-off of a PB&J type of, type of pattern. Um, we have some orange mink that I have, just these little strips uh, that I have left over. So we're going to use that for a tail. And then we have some purple coyote tail and some purple flash that we're going to use as the next piece of material. And then we have some brown um, rabbit zonker strips that we're going to use. So we're going to see how that goes. So stick around and let's get the tying. Okay, so we have a one ounce, uh, an eighth ounce ball head jig in the vise. And we're just going to lay some 210 denier, some flat wax 210 denier as our base here. And we're going to give that a snip and then we're just going to add our uh, our little mink tail here tie that back here so these that this might have a tendency to sort of want to wrap around the shank so um hence why the 210 is is nice to have and I'm just I'm trying to hold it as tight as I can on here. And maybe we'll wrap that a little bit further back actually too. And wrap that up. Now I'm not expecting that there'll be a lot of action on this tail. This will just be more for presence, a bit of color, that type of thing. So next we're gonna add our purple coyote from the coyote tail. Uh, give that a snip. Trim those little stems off. Let's see where we are here. So I don't want to have it necessarily too thick, because um, I do want I want the I obviously still want the orange of the mink to sort of show through still. But uh, it's okay if the if the coyote kind of comes past or at least is as long as the mink, you know. That'll be fine. Give that a wrap. And then we're going to flip this over because, yes, I do st still do not have a rotational vise, but that's okay. Um, can still make perfectly good jigs without one. And how's that looking? Tie that in. Just kind of give that a Make sure I'm getting some decent coverage there. Take that out. I just need that in there just for... Make sure we got coverage all over here kind of a thing. Okay. How are we? Does that look even? It seems, seems about... Well, good. We're gonna tie that stuff down. All right, so we're just gonna tie in some of this winging flash here. I got a a bunch of it. Um, this stuff really, really sticks to you <laughs> if you if you get it on you. It's kind of becomes a bit of a pain, but so we got some on that side. Bend it over and. Tie it on that side. And then we'll give it a snip here. And that should be. Should be enough. I don't think it's. I mean, I don't want necessarily a whole lot of it, but maybe I'll do. A, maybe I'll do a few more. Okay, so I have my coyote tied in with the purple flash as well. And now we will start by 
tying in our uh, our brown rabbit zonker. And I prefer tying with zonker as to as opposed to crosscut, even for body wraps and stuff. Um, just from I mean the limited amount of experience I have, I and maybe it's just the uh, the brand the brand name that I've been buying. I'm not I'm not sure, but I just find the hair on zonker strips is is a bit longer and gives more coverage. Um, the cross cut that I have, it just seems really, really sparse. Um, I haven't really been all that happy with it, so I haven't really even tied, tied too much with it because it always just ends up looking super sparse. Um, but yeah, maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then so we just continue this wrapping and I will wrap this all the way up to the base of the ball. and always sort of brushing back those hairs as we wrap. And we're just getting to the end here, so we will tie that off. Give that a little pull. Give this a, give that a bit of a snip there. Try and get as close to the head as I can so I don't have that little patch of leather in the way. And then we'll just give this a few a few more tighter wraps. Um, you don't want to make too big of a, a thread collar really on here, but I mean, you could if you wanted to. I just think I just think it looks better without. But I am going to try to hide that little leather piece that I have on my side here. So I will make a small little little collar at least. Um, yeah, and then we'll just whip finish and add a little bit of loon UV. Some thin, thin stuff, and then uh, we'll be ready for the test tank, or my little version of my my rubber rubber made test tank that I have. And that should be plenty. Pull that tight. Give it a snip. Now the tricky part is try not to get the resin on the rabbit. And I do not have the most steadiest of hands. So hopefully that won't happen, but you never know. If it does, it does. reasonable coverage we'll just give that some Ooh, clearly need to change the batteries here on my UV light but yeah there you have it we're gonna put her in the little tank here and see we see what it looks like all right, so we got her in the tank here. Um, obviously you can see there's a lot of action as predicted probably with the rabbit strip. Um, the purple coyote tail and the flash obviously add, are adding a lot too. And the, the orange, the orange mink tail is just sort of there more or less just for color. It's not adding a lot of action necessarily, but, um, it really keeps here. We'll do a little bit of swimming back and forth here, so it keeps its keeps its profile really nice when it's when you're swimming it. Um, but then, of course, when you jig it up and down, 
that rabbit just has a lot of a lot of action to it. And I will definitely be giving this a go on some smallmouth here in the not too distant future. Um, also, folks, I just wanted to mention that uh, if you're on Instagram, give me a follow on Instagram. It's at Boatshakers Tackle on Instagram. Give me a follow. Uh, I post a lot of jigs on there, and I also post just kind of pics of me uh, fishing and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. Anyways, folks, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.